tiles are very porous. And uh, this was shown to us in one of our training classes where our instructor actually took a tile that had not been waterproofed. But he took a, a non, an unwaterproof tile and poured an entire big glass of water into the tile and it held all the water. It just soaked it up like a sponge. And then it became very heavy. If that happened to the shuttle on the launch pad, it would never go off the ground, it would be so heavy. Or if it did fly and got into space, the water inside the tile would freeze and it could cracks in the tile or pieces of the tile to fall off. OV-104, or Atlantis. Uh, it landed at uh, Edwards, California. And unfortunately, there's nowhere out there to cover the orbiter. There's no hangar to put it in. And it got caught in a rainstorm. Now, when a shuttle comes back through the atmosphere, all that heat that's generated from reentry um, dissipates or burns off all the waterproofing agent that had been applied prior to that mission. And when, when they got here to Florida, they knew that a lot of the tiles had gotten wet. And they knew that would be a problem. And we'd have to get all that water out. The, the glass coating I was talking about on the tiles, that black coating that's only 30,000 of an inch thick, it stops half or part way down the sidewall of the tile. There's actually a little area at the base of that coating where there is no coating, and that's to allow the tile to breathe. We call it a vent zone. Here on the ground, air would have gotten into the tiles. When the order got up into a vacuum, that air needs a way to get out. If it didn't, it might actually come out forcibly and do damage to the tile. So that little vent zone allowed, allowed the air to escape, but actually allowed the water to get in. We had, uh, I believe, at one time, maybe 20 or more heat lamps set up, cooking the tiles. And we also had to monitor the temperature of each tile. We, were, we weren't allowed to get the temperature of the tile over, I believe, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, as it turns out, the heating with the heat lamps was good if the tile was just a little damp, but if there was a lot of water still in the tile, it wasn't that efficient. They developed this machine, for lack of a better term, it looked like a cow milking machine, it had little suction cups with Tigon tubing, they went to a pump and to a tank. And we were able to attach each one of these little suction cups to a tile and you can actually see water being drawn out. That hole was where the other technicians who did the waterproofing would inject a needle to inject the waterproofing agent. Uh, to all the technicians who were involved with that, all of us had to sit there for hours on end looking at these bright lights, uh, it became known as the Great Tile Bake of 01. I'm Roger McCormick, and this has been one of my previously untold stories about working on the space shuttle and my days at the Rocket Ranch.